Welcome to our lecture online. Here's an interesting problem that can be solved using exponential functions, and it's known as yearly compounding. So here we have peanuts currently cost $2.66 per pound. The price is expected to increase by 5% per year over the next six years. How much will they cost in six years? So we need an equation, and the equation is as follows. The amount that things will cost, in this case peanuts will cost in six years, is equal to the current price or the current principal, if we're talking about banking, we use that P for principal, A for the amount, times one plus the rate of increase, the small r is the rate for increase, times a raised to the t, the t power. So there you can see where we have an exponential function, the variable is t, because essentially A, the amount that it will cost, is a function of t. So here we can write it as a function of t. p is a constant, r is a constant, and t is the variable. In this case, we use the variable t for time. Now, t is in years. r is the rate of increase. And P is what we call the principal or the initial amount. So that's called the, is the principal or initial amount. All right, let's now plug in some numbers and work it out. So A, the amount when T is equal to six years, is equal to the initial price which is in this case, so principal, or maybe you can also think of it as price, like that, is equal to $2.66 times 1 plus the rate. Rate was 5%, but that has to be converted to decimal, so it would be 0 0.05 raised to the 6th power. So the amount after t equals 6 is equal to 2.66 times 1.05 raised to the 6th power. And that's where the exponential function comes in. So what we do is we grab our calculator, because without a calculator that would be rather difficult to do. We plug in 1.05 raised to the 6th power equals, that gives us 1.34. So this is equal to 2.66 times 1.34, that's 1.05, raised to the 6th power, which means that every year it increases by 5%. So we multiply that times 2.66 and we get 3.56. So this is equal to 3.56 or the price will be $3.56 per pound six years from now. Now notice how, diff how that is different from simply taking 5% for six years, so 5% times six would be, uh, that would be 30%. If you increase that by 30%, let's try that. So 2.66 multiply times 0 0.05 times six, that's different. If it goes up by 5% every year, but you do it on the original amount, instead of the increased amount, you get a very different number. Let's try this, but this would be equal to 2.66 times 0 0.05 times 6 equals, oh, oh, of course, plus 2.66, right? You would, you, would, you would have to add the increase to the original amount, so plus 2.66, we would get $3.46. So notice that is not the amount that we got here. This is what we call yearly compounding, so the 5% is increased over the new price every single year, where this you would simply multiply the original price by 5% times 6, which means that it's 30% higher than the original price, not compounded. This is the way it would work if we compound it, and this is how we use the exponential function. And that's the difference between doing a flat rate increase, 5% for 6 years all at once, or compounded yearly where we have the increase on top of the increase on top of the increase and that's is how it's done.